Hey folks, welcome to the first in a series of seven videos where we look at the derivations that you need to know for the advanced higher physics exam. In this video, we're going to look at how to derive the first equation of motion, v equals u plus at, from the rotational motion topic. So let's get into it. Now, the first equation of motion was first seen at higher level, and then it's seen again in advanced higher level. And it's expected that you can derive the equation, v equals u plus at. And how do you do it? Well, you want to start with this equation here, a equals d squared s by dt squared, which says that acceleration is equal to the second differential of displacement s with respect to time t. And what you then want to do is integrate both sides with respect to time. So we have the integral of d squared s by dt squared dt is equal to the integral of a dt. And all we've done there is swap the side round and then integrate it. And if you do that, you should end up with ds by dt on this side is equal to at plus c, where c is a constant. And you'll notice it's starting to look a bit like v equals u plus at because we've got this at term here. So we need to introduce the v and the u. So how do we do that? Well, it says here, now consider what happens to the equation when t equals zero and t equals t. Well, if we plug in t equals zero into this expression, we end up with ds by dt is equal to c, the constant. But remember at time t equals zero, we're going to have the initial velocity u. So we can say that ds by dt will be equal to u when t equals zero, and therefore c is equal to u, because we've said that ds by dt is equal to u, but it's also equal to c. So that means that c must also equal u. And at a time t equals t, which is just a time which is not equal to zero at some point during the motion, we can say that we're going to have final velocity v. So we can say that ds by dt in this case is equal to v. And the reason we're talking about ds by dt being a velocity is because remember you've got an equation on the relationship sheet which tells you that v is equal to ds by dt, i.e. velocity is equal to the rate of change of the displacement. So when we plug t equals t in here, it just stays the same. So we end up with when t equals t, ds by dt will equal v. So right now we've got v is equal to at plus u because we said that c is equal to u. And then just swapping these two terms around, we end up with our first equation of motion, v equals u plus at. So just to recap, the starting point is a equals d squared s by dt squared. You then want to integrate both sides with respect to time t. And then you end up with ds by dt equals at plus c where c is a constant. You then want to see what happens to this expression when t equals zero and when t equals t, and that will give you the u term and the v term to form the first equation of motion, v equals u plus at. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.